We found this on Thingiverse. It's uh, called a turbine. And I got it printing over here on my uh, 3D printer. It's only been going for a short time. It's going to take 8 hours and 34 minutes, it says. So, this might be good for a trial. I don't think it'll be a long term item. But hopefully, I can use it to cast one out of metal if it works. So, I'll show you as it goes along every once in a while if I can remember. About halfway through. themselves are almost done at the top of the hub. All left remaining. Well I got the propeller I guess you'd call it off the 3D printer. I got it mounted on a, a bolt and I got a washer up here at the top. And I'm going to take it down and I'm going to put it in a pipe and just see how it acts. So we'll go down to the pond and give it a try. Okay, here's one of my control pipes. Holy mackerel! That really, really pulls. Wow, there's a lot of down pressure on that. That really surprised me. Okay, I'm going to set the camera up and I'm going to try slowing it down just by hand. Yeah, I can slow it down, but I'm really screwed. So it looks like it might work. I can't believe the down pressure on that. I won't have any trouble holding it onto the pipe, that's for sure. Some of that fine stuff goes right through with no problem. As long as we're here, water wheel's working good. Well, I got some more progress with the uh, project. I uh, started to assemble the intake. This is all glued and screwed now. You can see those braces for the bottom. And this, this end will slip right over the existing pipe that's sticking out of the pond. And I determined this is going to be the length that's going to go here and that'll be put in place with uh, those braces also and at the bottom of that I've got the piece of Delron for the bottom bearing that's not the final hole I was just to machine this and it it just fits right in there just nice as pie um, Let's see what else have I done. Um, oh, I turned this piece, and that is going to go goes in here. And then for a shaft, I've got some drill rod. Now this was all made at one 
one setting in the lathe, never taken out, so it runs nice and true. And this is reamed for this piece of drill rod. So I have got to come up with set screws and a way to hold this into the plastic piece. I think I'm going to probably epoxy it and maybe put some screws up through from the bottom. And set screws, of course. And then I got a little bit started on the hub. Um, I have a hole drilled right here in the middle. Did it in the lathe, of course. And then got this piece of aluminum turned. You can see a little nub on there. And that is to center this like so. And then on each one of these high spots, I don't know if you can see it, this is where the outside of the aluminum is. And this is where I'm going to put my screws in each one of these. There'll be a hole and a corresponding hole here and tap and the screws will be countersunk on the inside and there's just enough room around this uh, bearing pocket for the screws. So that's where I'm at. I think probably this will be my my next move and then figure this uh, shaft and stuff out length and I may leave this shaft protrude down into the pipe aways so that if I do decide to experiment with moving this propeller up and down in the pipe I'm not sure if it should be close to the intake or whether it should be down the pipe aways or what would be best um, closer up here would give me better uh, closer to the bearing so I think it would probably be less vibration and, and stabler but I don't know whether the performance would be better down the pipe or up near the, the surface so got a lot of experimenting to do maybe we won't have to worry about that maybe it won't work we'll find out Got the holes drilled in the hub. And now, I can take, these are the tap drill size. So now I can put this in place. I don't know if you can see it or not. But then I'll be able to drill each one of these. And then I'll tap this and then I can drill the clearance hole size here. Got all the screws counter sunk in place. They don't show up very good because it's all shiny in there. There it is. Now we'll put this in the lathe and drill the hole for the shaft. That way it all runs concentric. Well, successfully drilled and reamed the hole. Fits nice and snug. Here it pop when you pull it out. So now I got to put a couple of set screws in here. So I'll take this all back off and get it all centered and I think I'll put two here and then 90 degrees from there I'm going to put one more. Got this part all cemented together. And it seems exceptionally strong. Huh? Impressed. Hopefully it holds up all right, but it seems seems good and sturdy. And let's see, I got my uh, set screws in there. I've got two here, and I've got one here in between those two, 90 degrees off, and in the shaft, I put a divot for the one that's in the middle. Um, just to ensure that it doesn't drop down. And let's see. I got a place for two set screws in the park for the impeller. And I think I'm going to do the same. I'm going to put a divot once I pick a spot. 
and then I made another collar for on the bottom um, just to ensure because I don't want to have to try to fish that thing out of my pipe. Let's see what else. Oh, and this is ready um, to do the final assembly and I'm going to Loctite these screws in place. So I think I'll do some assembly and then I'll uh, have you guys back. Got the bracket all mounted on the flange. Everything is uh, together except for putting the uh, propeller in. I got a spot located for that where it's uh, just just a little ways below the bottom one of these plates and then I left a little more room so it could go down further in the pipe if we need to try it <clears throat> see if it performs different so um, I'm going to pull these back off that way I can slide this up in far enough that I can get to these set screws put it back in place um, secure it and then uh, I think we're ready for a trial run. See if it goes roundy roundy or whether I've uh, had a lot of fun trying. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, got it assembled. Everything looks like it's uh, centered decently. So I'll gather up some stuff and we're going to try it out. Well, looking at it, I'm not even sure there's going to be clearance there for this uh, flange on the bottom, but we're going to give it a try. I might have to do a little excavating. It's a nice day today, except for there's some wind, so hopefully you guys will be able to hear me. I didn't bring anything except the meter with me to uh, see what kind of results we get. I figured there wasn't any point in hauling a lot of stuff down here if it wasn't going to work, so. See that spinning? I should have zoomed in a little bit. There we go. Well, I'm going to go up and get the bridge rectifier 
and maybe that 12 volt light bulb. We'll see what happens when we load it up a little bit. Now I got the bridge rectifier hooked up, capacitor, and a light bulb. And without the light bulb on, we're making 24.6. I put the light bulb on. Um, let's see. This wire here. Now I knock something off here. Let me shut you down for a minute. No light bulb with a light bulb. So she doesn't like to be loaded up. And that light bulb's a 12 volt and it uses about 2 amps when it's lit normally. So it's really what you call micro hydro <laughs> as far as power goes. So I haven't given up yet. I'm going to look into a different. Uh, propeller, I guess you'd call it, and uh, do some experimenting because it looks to me like it, you know, could possibly do something. I just haven't got the right combination yet. So, had a lot of fun doing this. If you enjoyed having fun watching it, you know, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.